What is up guys, it's Soulbash. We are back again with another video today. And guess what? We finally got a bid in on Warpath and we won. We are going into battle and we are finally going to see exactly what Warpath has to offer. First off, looking at the map, we have three lanes, okay? Going the middle lane, you're going to have the bosses and you're going to have one resource node and you have two resource nodes on the outer lanes as well. What these resource nodes do, as you can tell at the very top, you have your bosses. You have their health bars and right beside them you see one of them says 80% uh, and the other one says 99%. What this is, is the damage reduction that the boss has. Now the lower the damage reduction, the more damage you are able to do to these bosses. Now it's pretty simple, you run over, you stand on the resource nodes for a certain amount of time, I believe it takes about 30 seconds for you to convert them to your team, which we are the blue team in this battle. And the guild that we went up against, I uh, can't remember the name right off the top of my head, but you will see it at the end when it finishes. Uh, this match did last 30 minutes and was not complete. Now, this is one of the resource nodes here. It's already captured by us, as you can tell. But you have to stand inside of that circle right there for roughly 30 seconds to capture it. And your boss, you have to kill by the end of the match, which is 30 minutes long. If you do not win, it comes down to a tie. And this match here eventually did come down to a tie. We had the majority of our guild, which is Reborn on the Canadian server, Chaos. All the guys come in, we had, well, we have 18 right now, and I think the other guys ended up with maybe 10. And we got him down pretty good bid, but the fact is, you know, they should change some things in this. For one, we're still having problems with if NPCs or PCs are very close or basically sitting on a wall and you're trying to do a ranged attack, you cannot attack them with range through autoplay. It automatically runs up to them right on top of them and tries to attack them, which is kind of annoying. It's been around for a while um, and hoping they do address this and get this fixed. Now, as you can see here, we have all five of the resource nodes captured and the boss only has 1% damage reduction. And we're still barely able to do any damage to them compared to what you normally do to another player character. As you can see, I'm only doing uh, roughly 200 to 300,000 damage with that fire rain. And the other move is only doing 906,000 when it does hit. Still have a lot of misses in it. So these bosses do have a high, high damage mitigation. And it's really fun to do. Uh, you do have your pets. This is kind of like Seabed Scramble. So you do have your pet abilities that you can use, but your pets aren't actually out and usable. So we took in an assortment of what we actually needed for this type of battle, which is PvP. So we took in Neza and Skeleton King for damage reduction on Team 1. Took in Boxer and Ice Turtle for Team 2. And if you die just like I did here, it's no problem. Look, instant resurrection from the crystals in the market. 30, your mount's back to full health. You go right back into it. It's an extremely fun PvP event. I had a blast doing this. Um, Eventually, I hope they do tweak some of this stuff, though, guys, because, you know, there needs to be a winner. There shouldn't be any ties in, in any of this. As you can see there, I just jumped off, used Ice Turtle to heal some of my guys up. That is a tactic that you can use. If you do it right, you never really have to worry about dying from this guy because he does a little bit of damage. But we have one of our guys on the Frost Horn, so he was tanking most of the time. And... Every now and then you run out, you have certain people you set to go out for the resource nodes. See the damage that I'm doing there compared to the damage over there is not comparable. Didn't want this guy to take this resource node from us right there. So come up, took him out and we're going to run up here and actually no, we're not. 
I'm not going to risk just getting into a fight with someone else with a fireborn mount. You know, it's not worth the loss of DPS. So I'll just run back down here and start attacking the boss again. The only way you win this is you actually have to kill the boss. Other than that, it's going to end up in a tie. This is a, the orange the orange fight that you have green you have uh, it's I believe it's a blue or a pink maybe and then you have the orange one which is in the middle this is the hardest warpath that there is and we just don't have enough accumulative DPS to take this thing down even with majority of our guild in here um, I believe we have 42 in but I'm almost positive you have to be an elite two be in here I'll have to double check on that uh, if anybody does know that you can comment in the comments below and let me know if I'm correct on that but it is very fun I had a blast and you know you hardly ever get the guild together to do things like this so it's a very extremely fun thing to do with the whole guild and I'm hoping to do a lot more of it you know level some of this stuff up on these mounts so we can do a good bit more damage but guys, like I said, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you want to know anything about what Warpath is, how something works, let me know. I'll be happy to uh, reply to your comments about it. And of course, this is a 30 minute long video and I've done a lot of recording today so I don't actually have the voice and breath to continue throughout this whole Warpath video. So you guys enjoy it have any questions like i said leave them in the comments below and as always like comment and subscribe i am Solbash. enjoy the rest of this video guys and have a nice day